Welcome to our final presentation. We will be presenting our product, Skill Compass, and demoing for you how it works for you to experience. So we help job seekers match their existing skills to help them find new tech careers. Our product is currently optimized for both the mobile and the web. Before we take you on this journey, I'll introduce you to the team. My name is Abby. We have Blake. We have Dennis, our developer. We have Ileana, Janae, Vasuda, and Sundar, our team mentor. There is a recent shift in the world of technology and it, has further accelerated, it was further accelerated by two major factors, ubiquitous data and COVID-19. According to McKenzie, 45.3 million workers are expected to be displaced in the US by 2030 in fields such as customer service, sales, and food service roles. And 70% of people are open to retraining because of the rise of automation. These, these happenings have given rise to opportunities and vice versa. In light of these, we talked to people and came up with a hypothesis that job seekers with non-technical backgrounds looking to transition into tech roles are often unaware of what positions exist and what skills are required. Following our survey, three major things stood out for us. We got to know that 68.8% of survey respondents said they don't have, or they're not sure, of, or they're not sure if skills they if the skills they're not sure if they have skills for the roles they're pursuing. But 83.3% reported that they knew the training they needed. The second insight was that in spite of the excitement about learning and potential job opportunities in tech, respondents were unsure of skills, of the skills setting roles required, and that led them into investing in unnecessary training. And the final insight for us was that a lot of respondents automatically deferred to coding. We have two personas. First, we have Sophia. She didn't finish college and has been working in a low-wage customer service job. She doesn't feel compensated fairly nor challenged enough. She's looking to transition into tech as a web developer and has done some self-paced trainings but has no idea where to start. Then there is Miles. He has a bachelor's in creative arts and has been working as a copywriter. He's unaware of what roles his art skills are aligned with and is what is wondering um, if he needs more training. He is hoping to land a role that allows him to be creative in his work, something he is very passionate about. Our solution makes it easier for job seekers to identify and map their transferable skills to roles in tech, learn about jobs in their area, and fill skill gaps with recommended trainings. You've heard from Blake about Sophia. Let me show you how she uses skill map. Skill compass. So Sophia is highly motivated. Um, she came across an Instagram ad where she learned about Skill Compass. She went to our landing page, um, saw how easy it is to map her skills and decided to take, uh, to take a chance and try it out. She's doing her lunch break, so she's not gonna be able to go through all the questions and she's able to do that because those questions are not required. And now she's gonna tell us about her skills. As Blake mentioned, she has been training on web development and she's been able to recognize some of the skills that she has used to build websites. But she also doesn't know some others. And so she is going with the skills that she's developed at her current job as a customer service representative. She's ready to get her results. On the results page, Sophia is able to watch a video about web development to learn about the career path and the different roles that are considered under web development and that she may want to explore further. She's able to get a bit of employment outlook and the trends on salary. And she's, but most importantly, she's able to learn about her skills profile. And these will highlight her top skills, but also development areas that will point her to learn about where she may need to devote more time before applying to jobs, or what are some of the skills that she needs to develop. She'll also have access to additional resources where she can explore training, salary, and job information in her region. Sophia is now excited and motivated, and she wants to leave us feedback. So she decides to rate us three because we have room to grow. 
And that has been her journey. Skill Compass is helpful for people like Sophia because navigating a new career can be challenging. But our, Celine, our machine learning solution will help match her to a personalized career to give her confidence as she embarks on transitioning into a new profession. And being the one-stop shop for identifying your next career, what skills you need, and the next steps puts us at a high competitive advantage against our competitors. The results of our initial launch brought in 33 users completing the skill questionnaire out of the 115 users who visited the site and an average satisf satisfaction rate of 3.6. The product roadmap includes adding additional career paths, recommending local training options, and also letting users create an account, developing an ML-based matching solution. Some of our key learnings over the last couple of weeks have been always prioritize users' needs, while building a prototype, every design decision is important and anything is just an idea until it's validated. Thank you. And we're now open for questions. And to continue forward with this, you should be very proud of what you've done. This is kind of my field of interest. So I definitely have ideas about solutions. <laughs> So yes, you may see something similar or, you know. <laughs> or to consider around what truly are the pain points and problems to solve for, right? And again, just remember, if you continue this, um, your roadmap and what you continue building is going to be focused on the problems, not just what you what features to add, right? So I think you've done a great job understanding those things. Oh, quick, uh, one great job in the demo. I really loved the way it was presented. I do obviously always have something to optimize <laughs> as a PM. So the only piece that I definitely would love to see more of would be when you landed the user to this page that said, hey, these are the roles that you'll be interested in. Uh, why did you recommend those roles? Like explaining that and making it more, um, more justified, like, hey, this is based on X research or this is based on these LinkedIn profiles, whatever it is, can actually make it more validated of like, okay, yes, these people know what they're talking about. Kind of thing. Um, that would have that would have been the clincher in this point. So, yeah, but otherwise, great job. Thank you, Tanvi. Um, and this might be a post MVP um, type uh, thing, but. You know, great job, guys. Um, I'm curious how you would measure the success of your product. So at the end of the day, the goal is to get these people from their current role into a technical role. So are you planning on doing a consistent feedback loop to either reach out to them at various pinpoints, maybe it's three months, six months, a year, or with about your thoughts on how you would measure the success of your product overall? specifically with gaining that that feedback. Sure. Um, so one of the things, this is really very much, uh, this was designed to, to address the 10-week uh, the ten week constraint that we had in terms of time. Um, the, the fuller idea really involved in connecting, taking users to the entire kind of um, continuum of the career navigation and connecting them to whether it was training or jobs uh, themselves. Um, but it's a great idea to connect with LinkedIn. LinkedIn. We were thinking of replacing it, but you know, small steps. <laughs> um, the, uh, but, but yes, the, the idea is that uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to test out the additional resources that we put there was to see where was the appetite for users so that that can determine some of the additional features and functionality that we would add to the platform later on. Um, and so we, we are able to track that information uh, with analytics and see where people are clicking. Are people clicking more in training or jobs? Uh, where, where is the appetite for users? What are their needs? Uh, and we definitely see kind of a separation where the skills profile and your results um, are coming into play so that you, we can present a more fuller picture uh, to users. Um, but if anyone else wants to add, please jump in. And then to, add, to also add on to that as well, Nicole, um, one of the things that we also um, discussed as a team was the fact that um, that particular idea is that it's, it's, it's um, post-launch. 
It's something that we have in our roadmap for much later, because that way we we'll then really will be able to tell and give success stories on our website in terms of um, how far people have been able to really achieve their dreams. But it's something that we had in the pipeline for, for, for post-launch. Awesome. Great job, guys. The <laughs> one shout out I do want to give to the team is watching them over 10 weeks and uh, being pretty impressive how much they've been focused on trying to figure out how will we know this resonates. So the focus on engagement and adoption and how do we know what success is, that was a refreshing change because I didn't even have to say anything about how do you know this is working. They, they came up with it proactively, so that was great. 